welcome to Review the Light. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different than normal. Uh, Nightcore's asked me to review one of their new uh, battery chargers, the Nightcore IntelliCharger i1. And this is uh, kind of exciting. My uh, charger that I used originally was a Nightcore i4, and lately I've upgraded to the Nightcore d4 over here. You can see that is what I've been using for most of my uh, battery charging needs lately. So, uh, in ch t checking out their i1 should be pretty interesting. So I'll take a look at it. I will show you each side of the box. If you want to take a closer look at any details displayed on those, as I knock over a battery, just go ahead and feel free to pause the video for a moment. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I'll kind of try to hold that upright for you if you want to read anything. One thing to take note of is um, there's been a lot of issue with batteries and I guess chargers too kind of being counterfeited lately. So Nightcore and uh, probably some other brands also have started doing these validation things. It's a little scratch off for validation code. So if you want to make sure that you've got that um, original Nightcore product you can do that. Uh, you might note here this is made for vapors. I, uh, for better or worse, am not a vapor, so I won't be able to do much reviewing for that uh, function of the charger here. I'll leave that to people who know more, more about the vaping. I'm just going to cover the battery charging abilities here. So, I'll go ahead and open it up. Kind of the standard Nightcore packaging, you know, they're black and yellow there. And then the inside, we've got inside the plastic pack, just pretty simple, have the warranty card here and the user manual. I'll try to hold that so you can see it. And again, if you want to take a longer look, feel free to pause the video for a moment. You should be able to see that. I'll flip it over. Just a couple of highlights. It says that it's got a one amp maximum charging current, so that's pretty good. It's not, you know, you the, for the larger batteries, you could charge them faster. You got, it looks like it's another uh, language on the back there, so I won't worry about that right now. You could charge the larger batteries faster than at one amp, but that should be fine for most of your charging needs, especially with only one battery in here. So let me take a look at the user manual, see if there's anything else um, I should note. The uh, EGO port, is this here? That is the vape, the vapor charging port. And uh, like I said, that's not really my expertise. I don't know a lot about the vaping, so I'm going to have to leave that to someone else to enlighten you on how well, it, how useful it is for that feature. But other than that, uh, the main feature here of this is that it can take just about any kind of battery that you can fit in there. So I've got several different batteries lined up here. That's why you can see I've got a various battery chemistries, a mix of uh, lithium ion and uh, both the uh, IMR style and your kind of standard uh, protected battery uh, chemistry here. So and uh, some nickel metal hydride batteries as well. So we're just going to test its ability to charge all of those. Um, the great thing is being able to just stick those in there and have it do the appropriate charging. And if it's anything like the D4, I don't have any worries about it uh, being able to, excuse me, the, um, let me see. Yeah, the D4 and the I4. I don't have any worries about it being able to handle that. So, if there's nothing else there, I'll go ahead and plug this in. Sorry, it's all tied up here. If I were one of the fancy YouTubers, I'd edit this time out, but being myself, I'll just let you be patient for a moment. All right. So, here we have plugged in, and I'll just let you, I guess, look at these other surfaces here before I start. Some nice kind of anti-slip stuff right there. And also, it's got a USB output port there also, which is nice. I can test that in a moment as well. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and... I'll show you the fit of the batteries in here. This doesn't have the digital display like uh, the D4 or the D-series of their chargers do, so you'll just have to take a look. But here I've got this in there, and you can see it's got the red light, and it's beginning to charge. 
and I don't have uh, the equipment right now to easily show you the charging currents and all of that so I'll leave that to some more um, detailed reviews uh, by, done by others in the future. You can see there's an 18650 battery it fits in there fine. Then we have an IMR chemistry 18650 battery a little bit shorter because it doesn't have quite the same protection circuit. I've got a double A battery nickel metal hydride seems to be rejecting that one or else I just don't quite have it in there quite right doesn't seem to want to charge that so I'm gonna have to check the battery check the instructions there's a 14500 size this is a little bit loose in here getting to the smaller size it can still hold it well you just gotta kind of be careful how you're putting it in I've got a AAA battery, which if it's not going to charge a nickel metal hydride, I'm not going to put that in there right now. And I've got the 1640 size. So, uh, let me take one more quick look at the instructions. I thought these were supposed to do the nickel metal hydride chemistry, but it's always worth rechecking. Now, on second look, I was wrong. It doesn't do the nickel metal hydride. So, uh, when I put that in there, you can tell it recognized that it wasn't the kind of battery I was looking for and it didn't attempt to charge it. So that's uh, good to note. It says it also should have reverse polarity protection. We'll try that out real quick, just see if it explodes. If you're watching this video, it means it probably didn't explode. Yep, it does the same thing. It recognizes that it's, uh, there's a problem in there. It's just not even going to charge. So that's good to know. Okay, so this is the Nightcore i1 IntelliCharger. Um, again, I expect good performance from it because I've had great performance from all my other Nightcore battery chargers. And... It looks like a great option if you just want a single bay. Oh, we'll try the USB charging feature uh, here for just a moment. Let's see how that looks. Now, without reading the instructions, I'm going to see if that means that it can charge off of a battery in there or if it can, or if it's only when it's plugged in. So, let me find a charger. And we will see all right now I have it plugged into the wall and we're going to plug that USB cord right there plug my phone in and yep it's charging my phone currently now if I unplug it from the wall Now it's not charging my phone anymore. So it looks like it doesn't charge off of the battery that's put in, but it charges off of the wall current. So if you're not, if you don't have the charger plugged into the wall, um, then it's not going to charge your phone or whatever other device you've got plugged into the USB port. But that is a nice feature to have, um, having that option there. So. Uh, this is the Nightcore i1 IntelliCharger. Thanks for stopping by to review the light. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Thanks and have a great night. <laughs>